the new Black Panther Party is unappealing and it's a racist party and so forth, show up at one largely black precinct in Philadelphia and they stand around and one is slapping a billy club against his wrist. But, um, one, there is, we have no direct evidence that they in actually intimidated anybody, stopped them from voting. And two, we certainly have no direct evidence that anybody in the Justice Department said, oh, we're not going to prosecute the, um, this case because we have racial double standards. We protect blacks. We don't protect whites. There are more important voting rights issues to talk about. Well, in fact... I think it is flatly untrue. Yeah. I think the evidence is extremely weak. Look, two African-American poll watchers testified they were intimidated by these people. Uh, I think that the Justice Department is clearly stonewalling these subpoenas because they have something to hide. Oh, well, I do mean it literally. You can't even criticize President Obama without it being um, coming off as, you know, you coming off as racially suspect. Uh, he's not a real black man. They were not voters. But even if they were intimidated, they said they were not afraid. There is an enormous ratcheting up of the incivility of racial discourse in America. The Obama White House did not do due diligence. I don't think anybody expected a quote-unquote post-racial society. When you put the focus on the suffering and allow blacks and whites and reds and browns to come together to focus on the suffering, that's how the temperature goes down. It doesn't go down by avoiding. It doesn't go down by deodorizing the dialogue. You gotta allow some of the funk right to come through the surface. All right. He's not a real black man. Oh, well, I do mean it literally. Uh, uh, we have no direct evidence that they in actually intimidated anybody.